Hi everyone, welcome to this final video for my Road to Ardacon series. It's official, I am finally finished. I have nothing left to do, the tournament starts tomorrow, so once I finish this, these guys are going to go in the box and won't be coming out until I arrive in Manchester for the start of the tournament. So in total I've got uh, 23 figures, which for a 600 point tournament, because this is my grand tournament army, is not a lot at all. Some people look like they're going to be taking 40, maybe 50 figures, um, but because mine are all mounted and I've gone for quite a high number of elite cavalry, and of course Gandalf as well, it really has um, hit my numbers, but I'm hopeful that it'll work out. So my force in total of the 23 for this, I've got Gandalf who's going to be riding Shadowfax. So, Shadowfax is a defense 5 horse, so I believe regular bows will need to roll a 6 to be able to wound the horse. Um, he'll also be giving me Blinding Light, which is a spell which means that um, ranged, ranged units, so bows, um, throwing spears, anything like that, need to roll a 6 to be able to hit. So the idea is to keep him in amongst these guys and keep them safe whilst they can charge in close enough. He does. He is a lot of points. He's 185 with Shadowfax, which is pretty much a third of my entire um, points allocation. But hopefully he'll be worth it. He's also a fantastic model. I finished this off last night, and I think that's probably the best horse I've ever painted. So I'm really happy, really happy with him. Also got the foot version which I have just noticed a chip on his hat but it's just it's lovely to be honest put him on a bit of slate to make it look a little bit more interesting he'll be my army general so wanted to make him look a little bit more special I also then have um, Eowyn um, with horse armour and shield um, she's not particularly good in um, close combat, but she's got quite a bit of might, so I'm hoping that I can use her to call heroic moves and heroic actions and stuff like that. She's then got three outriders, who are like a basic rider, but with a better shoot value. The trade-off being they've got a lower defence. She then leads six Westfold Red Shields, which are these regular riders, only they've got the Red Shield upgrade, which makes them fight four rather than fight three. So she's got six of them, and so her wall band in total is nine. So, slightly smaller warband, but the idea for her is that she'll be um, almost like a skirmishing party. Her guys can sort of like sweep around the edges, pick off, hopefully pick poles in the enemy line before I hit him with the other warband. The other warband is going to be led by Erkenbrand here. So he's got the um, Erkenbrand's horn, I can't remember exactly what it's called. But um, that gives me a plus two to my courage. So if I do break, or if I have to charge anything terrifying, I've got a better chance of being able to get in because he's got um, that courage boost for everyone. He's then got four Sons of Earl in his um, warband. These are excellent cavalry. Only problem is they're 22 points each, and so they're quite expensive when it comes to putting together a force which also has Gandalf in it. But I've got four of them. And he's then got seven Westfold Red Shields in his warband. So these guys will form up, form the hammer in effect to try to break through the enemy line. Once the Sons of Earl have managed to bash through, I'm hoping I can get the um, Red Shields in as well and they can take them out. I know a lot of people seem to be quite secretive with their lists. They don't want people to know what they're taking. I can understand that because some people are going there with a view to winning things. But I think, I, I know I'm not going to win anything with this army. I'm not going to win the tournament. Um, Chaos in Arda might have some a chance because I've got good manoeuvrability. But whether I actually place in any of the competitions is exceptionally unlikely. I mean, I don't even really know the rules that well. I still have to look things up. So, it's just a bit of fun. I've also got dismounts for all of these, which I managed to get done. Um, so I'll flip over now and bring them up quickly. 
So here's my force without the horses. And now I look at it, it's actually quite piddly. Um, yeah, so if anyone manages to dismount all my figures, I am actually going to be in a lot of trouble. Um, yeah, so that's 23. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Yeah, 23. Um, got a couple of spares as well, just in case anything breaks. Um, but, yeah, that's going to be it. So, not a lot at all. So I'm relying heavily on the fact that I've got the cavalry there and I can charge in and get the charge bonus. Um, if Gandalf comes off his horse, it's not a massive issue because I'll be trying to keep him out of combat. But he will then become vulnerable to charge attacks. But as long as I remember to um, cast his terrifying aura spell, he will then become terrifying himself. So it means that anyone who wants to charge him will have to take courage test. And if I'm fighting against evil, so say orcs or anything like that, it's going to be quite hard for them to um, get in. So yeah, this is it. All my heroes ready to go. My Sons of Earl conversions, which are converted from um, V and V miniatures. I love them. These are brilliant. I mean, I wish I could have swapped over all swords, but... I've made sure each of them's got an axe modelled on as well. You can see the axe just under there. So they've got the choice of piercing strike or fainting. Um, because that's effectively what the cavalry model has as well. So yeah. Really happy with this. Looking forward to it tomorrow. A little bit nervous. Um, don't want to make an arse of myself not knowing the rules. So I'm going to try tab the rule book with um, post-it notes to try and make sure that I know what I'm doing. Yeah, thanks for watching, and um, hopefully after this I'll be able to do a little video on the other stuff I've been working on. Cheers, bye.